Ritesh, do you want to see more pressure from investors? I know you wrote an open letter just now in the lead up to COP27, essentially putting the onus on, on governments, political leaders, saying they need to take bold action, but we've waited long for them to take bold action. Where is change really going to come from? The private industry, investors, where is it going to come from? Well, clearly all of the above, the, but the question is, who's going to step up and be counted? Yeah. As Paul says, if our role as a collective is to de-risk the political process, because <laughs> let me tell you a story. Since and you need 20... trillions of dollars as well to make <clears throat> change happen. You do. But, you know, in 2014, the companies that made up ICMM at the time came out and said, we support a carbon price. Mm. People said, what? We said, no, we support a carbon price. We need a carbon price. It's the only way to solve climate change. Seven years later, do we have a carbon price? No. But the whole point was that if any government negotiator stood up at COP21, 22, 23, whatever, and said, we'd love to put a carbon price in, but, you know, the industry would complain, we could, we could show them, no, no. No, we want you to do it. That was the point of the open letter. My, the mm. point of my open letter to governments in Montreal was, if you think that protecting nature would be seen as a negative from the industry, you are wrong. Because we have been taking actions on nature mm. for far longer than political leaders have been talking biodiversity at a serious level. So I think what Paul says is absolutely right, which is, let's stand up and be counted and show leadership so that political leaders can use that as a way to increase their own ambitions and it becomes a virtuous cycle. Price on carbon, in other words, uh, tax. Correct. Well, it's not on tax. carbon, isn't it? More or less the same, which always scares off political leaders and government. Yeah, but it's not a tax. It doesn't have to be a tax. There's a carbon dividend proposal in the U.S., which is called the baker Schultz proposal, which is very good. Mm. Uh, you have cap-and-trade systems. Mm. It doesn't have to be a tax. The, the word tax. And by the way, tax is not bad at all, although a quarter of the Fortune 500 people, companies still don't pay tax, which we talk about in our book, which I think is quite irresponsible. But, but, but tax is not a bad thing. Yeah.